I'm gonna think she's coming with me. But she's not. Sorry, honey, you ain't coming with me. Oh, can you sit, please? Sit. Daddy's gotta go. Bye bye, beautiful. Bye bye. Bye. Poor thing. Are you listening? So I am going to do a couple errands. At the moment I need to go to the bank and I need to pick up some tortillas for the boy who's making breakfast or lunch really because it's one o'clock. I haven't really filmed in three days. For those of you who don't follow me on social media, you would not know that my aunt passed away kind of suddenly and in a, a not so perfect way. Although, you know, death really isn't perfect ever but nonetheless it's been it's been hard and I've, I've really focused my energy on being with my family and um, comforting them as well as comforting myself with their presence and um, you know it still doesn't feel real death is such a hard concept to grasp for many and grief is such a a bizarre process and everyone kind of goes through waves and my aunt Jeannie was so lovely for those of you who are old enough, there was a commercial back in the day of Barbie and Barbie's dollhouse. And um, she's getting all ready or something like that. And I think she ditches a man and hops off and goes with like Ken and they drive off into the sunset. And my Aunt Jeannie always told me that that would be me and her. And we'd leave her, <laughs> we'd leave her husband, Uncle Teddy. But she was, she was like the, the first person in memory at, on that side of my family that I think I felt really warm and welcomed with she like I remember her taking my hand and her showing me around the house of my Aunt Lori's and it was of course Halloween because they always had Halloween parties my Aunt Lori and just so full of life and spirit and you know even being with the rest of the family you can feel her absence and it's weird it's so weird so it's just something I'm gonna have to take one day at a time and, and let the feelings come when they do come so Brandon's been lovely as always with this and he's been very supportive and he actually met my aunts and my cousins. Um, so yeah, just going on with life I guess. Just moving forward. So let's run errands. I've decided to get Brandon a little card to thank him from Luna, Jasper, and myself for always taking care of us and being an amazing person. So I'm just gonna write a little bit. <laughs> he's actually making breakfast right now and I'm running a little late, so he's probably gonna hate me. So I'm hoping this card's gonna save my butt. Dear. Brandon. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for always looking after Love, Luna, Jasper, and Vinny. Yay! <laughs> Hi guys. Hello! Shit out of me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, got it? Uh-huh. Okay. Right. Thanks. I got you a card. You got me a card. Do you see it? Oh, I see it. Open it. It wasn't my idea. Good times, 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 good
the bottom. Ah, okay. I thought that's the bottom. Why am my heart? <laughs> We're always looking after us. Love, love, love. Yeah. Love Luna, Jasper. Oh, Luna. Uh, okay. It was love, love, love. Oh, uh, it was Luna's idea. Ah, uh, thanks, Luna. <laughs> You're so cute. I want to do something nice for you. You're <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and who are you, ladies? Hi, baby. Hi. This is my dad's boxer. It's my sister's dog, Penny. Hello, Penny. Hi, baby.